Really? Well, the thermostat's downstairs, so. But I should move it. Well. Wait, you mean it's on the first floor? Yeah. Well, that was my mother's apartment. It turns out when the Coopers lived there, the thermostat was upstairs. And Mom was always begging for more heat. That just doesn't sound like Mom. But, you know, that must have been why she got a new boiler. That must have been somehow the problem was the heat wasn't coming down. It was going up. Because my mother... Well, heat's supposed to go up. It's supposed to pass here on the way. Well, no, I think actually, actually how those radiators there work is it's because they're, they're all separate. You know, they're not like a, it's not like a hot water heat. It's not a separate, what, what it's, is, it? is that steam? It's steam, so it, just, it, go, steam. it goes up to each individual radiator. Yeah. But I think that's the only thing I could think of. I thought, because like when Aunt Rosemary was there, it was all, Maya had the thermostat by that time, and she was always complaining she was cold upstairs. And Ma was always, well, she put a sweater on, you know. Ma was always with a sweater downstairs, and Aunt Rosemary was in her shirt sleeves upstairs. Yeah. But I last or during the week I came home at like three in the morning, two nights in a row, and because uh, basically the heat goes off about midnight over there, it doesn't come back down until five in the morning. You know, unless it's cold, it just goes down low. It goes to right. sixty-four degrees or something. So it's pretty. I was, and it was really nice. The heat was up to, but it was like this is ridiculous. You know, why is the heat up at three in the morning? Are you sure your timers are set properly? Yeah, it was. There was, you know, my Rita who lives down there. She wasn't even home. And she said, uh, well, unless Jane, because she's got this friend who's been staying with her lately, well, maybe Jen turned it up, but she's never touched the heat. I said, well, yesterday it was fine. She said, well, she wasn't here yesterday. I said, well, that answers our question. Well, she <laughs> might have said it, turn it up and left. Well, that's what I said. If you turn it up before, because it's not going to kick off until 5 in the morning when it's going to go to the regular setting. Yeah. You know, once you change that, the next, the next, it does, it's, it goes to the next setting. It stays till the next setting. Well, you should put it up in your apartment. Well, maybe. I, you know, I just assume they have it as long as it's not. You could put a sensor in their apartment and they will control in yours. Well, let me see. I mean, I just assume we'll leave it down there for now. I'd rather they had the. The onus. Well, no, I mean, I don't, you know, as long as they're not, I don't need a lot of heat. Yeah. I'd rather keep them happy than, you know. So as long as they're happy, you're happy. Yeah, I mean, I can, you know, I got I got portable heaters. I just put a portable heater on in the ra yeah. in the bathroom or under my desk. I just put a thing under the desk. Oh, and I'm sweater, like so, wait, it's colder up there where you are? Oh, I don't know about now. But it was, I was surprised to hear that when the Coopers lived up there, it was they would be sweltering and Mom would be asking for, my mother would be asking for a heat downstairs. Hmm. And they were <sighs> opening, so that must have been when she got the new furnace. Hmm. There must have been something and more. They must have repiped the radiators. Or something. There must have been something that. Uh, uh, well, Mom was complaining about cold. No, that's funny because she was all. She was never. Yeah. You but know, she wore a parka before she complained yeah, about the cold. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. And when Aunt Rosemary lived up there, Aunt Rosemary was always. But Aunt Rosemary always, you know, she never put a sweater on her. She wore short sleeves. And she was, hours you know, yeah. yeah. Hey, you don't think I know you're in there? <laughs> you know, dogs aren't the only one that care about food. Oh. <laughs> Not as much. Okay, so we got this guy moving in. Oh, downstairs? Next month. Downstairs. Yes. And he's real handsome.